Welcome back viewers. Today we're taking you inside both the Red and Bent Pyramids for this grand finale of our Egypt series. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. It's completely deserted except for us and a few military men. We're going down over 100 meters now into the belly of the beast. I've never seen anything like this. They said go backwards down it, but I might spin around and go forwards. If it was up to me, they'd take out these middle sections and you could just slide down on your bum. Yeah. Quite extraordinary. Again, the uh, temple is maybe, or this tunnel rather, is maybe, I don't know, I guess 120 centimeters. Um, probably chest height. Uh, just extraordinary, there were underneath just hundreds and hundreds of tons of stone. Bloody hell, it goes into darkness. What have you done with that? What are you doing up there? I'm not sure if I want to keep going. Why? Scared? Is it scary? I think I have, I think I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> I think anyone's claustrophobic in here. Are you okay though? Yeah, I just don't know if I can keep going. It's alright. This is quite something. There's a whole world of dark in here. It stinks as well. Oh my god. Good lord, this is incredible. Exactly the same structure as Giza. This is amazing. But just stop a second. There's no sound. In Ter well, Terry Pratchett, he describes anti sound, which is not just sound, the opposite of sound, where it sucks up sound. It's a bit of a joke. But that is how I would describe this. It's almost anti-sound. It just seems to take every bit of sound out of the universe. It's so silent. I don't think I've been in a place this quiet in my life. All right. Continuing the exploration. I have to say, this is a little bit creepy. <laughs> If someone jumped out, if someone, if someone jumped out of me now, I'd absolutely shit myself. Apologies for my language. Oh, this is so creepy. It's creepy as hell. The smell in here is, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes all the way up. Yeah, this is picking it up much better on the iPhone. Incredible structure. We're now in the heart of thousands, thousands of tons of rock. And this is where the Pharaoh would have been buried. And there is a real sense of aura about this place. It is quite foreboding. It's slightly scary, isn't it? You can feel a weird vibe in here. Yeah. Weird feeling. It's you, also because we're by ourselves, there's no one else here. You can also imagine the priest coming here and uttering those final words during the ceremony to send the Pharaoh off into the next life. You can sense those words and how they would have vibrated off the walls in the same way that my voice is now. Incredible. Incredible. And the smell is almost like, I can't really describe it, it's like a, it's a sharp a, smell. Yeah, it's, it's something I've smelt before, but I can't pinpoint what it is, but it's strong. It's Very nice. strong. Almost nauseous, it almost makes you nauseously strong. Nice smell. It almost smells a little bit like, it smells almost like, um, maybe like a wood, uh, petrified wood or something. I'm not sure, I can't pinpoint it, it's not nice though. Again though, we're sweating buckets. Can you see me? This is what it's all about. What was that? I don't know, it's 
Stop saying that when we're in here. <laughs> Oh, you're gone. Why are you moving so fast? <laughs> Ow. I'm not sure how appropriate it is, Amy, to spank me in a pyramid. <laughs> it's a claim. I've been spanked 100 meters down inside a pyramid. Brilliant. And here we have some outer casing. Finally. Had to come to a few pyramids to find some. But we found it. I don't know what this is. It's windy and hot. It's like a hairdryer. This is what would have covered the entire outside of the pyramid. Smooth limestone. I can touch this because it's a big old pyramid, isn't it? Not a carved sculpture. So we just went to the uh, red pyramid, which is behind me. I'm trying to be a little bit sus because they said if you start recording, obviously, the guys at the last pyramid, the police will take the uh, footage off you. So I'm trying to be a little bit, little bit careful. But um, yeah, we just went to that's the that's the third largest pyramid that we just saw, and is considered to be the first um, successful attempt by the Egyptians to build a smooth-sided pyramid. Now this one is interesting because you can see the reinforcement there. So it's thought that. Um, it, well, it may not have been stable, which is why they changed the angle uh, as they were constructing it. But it's also thought that it might just be the natural evolution of the step pyramid, like we saw earlier of Djoser, to a smooth-sided pyramid. And so it we went from Djoser's pyramid to this type of pyramid, and then to the smooth-sided pyramid. But awesome though, because you can actually see the uh, outer casing still on it. So you can kind of get a feel for what it would have looked like. So yeah, really cool. Now it's safe there apparently, with now they put like these construction bits in the side. I can't believe how narrow this one is. It's got levels to it. So this one is maybe, this one is maybe, I don't know, less than a meter in places, I would say. Especially that lip up there. This is my worst ever camera at work. <laughs> Tricky. This one's harder. Oh. Harder than the. This is the hardest. Is it the hardest we've done? I think so. Apart from the one that was full of people, that was terrifying. It's really steep. They're less scary than geese, are they? Because they're not full of people. Yeah. It's 80 meters long, he said. This shaft, which I can tell you, virtually on your hands and knees, is quite hard work. They built this whole thing. Why can't they just Why make they it? Why didn't they just make it? It seems like bigger. they have 0 0.5% extra work. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, they might, I wonder if there's a reason for it, like you bowing as you go in or something. <laughs> I'm worried to get back up. Bloody hell. Mike, did your ears pop? No. Oh, bloody hell. God almighty. Oh. Does it ever? It's huge. That's got to be 30 meters high. Oh, great camera work. God, I feel a bit dizzy after that. Just be careful of these steep steps. You're getting on all right, yeah? You're not feeling dizzy. I think I'm okay. Out on me. Bloody hell. I can't. I can't quite put into words how extensive this is. It's about one, two, three, four, five stories more. Maybe four stories. Plus, this is a couple of stories. So, we're talking about six stories high once you're inside the pyramid crazy absolutely insane it really sort of hits home 
how, how much of a uh, project, how much of an undertaking it was to build these. And you consider that all these stones around us were placed individually. They're large enough to create these chasms inside. And I always thought the pyramids had quite small interiors, but this is palatial. Of course, there's a two foot gap that we have to crawl through. Don't know why I'm surprised at this stage. Do you want to go first? I was going to film me so you get an impression for how small it is. So here I am at six foot six. This joke's getting old now, isn't it? Wow. You've actually got to claw your hands and knees. How far does it go? Maybe a little bit further. Okay. Can you oh. come to me? Yeah. Well, this would be a good time to mention to you is that Egypt does get earthquakes. I don't know how to get What are you doing? Pass me. I'm going to show you show them what you're doing. Your method. You I'm look, in the phone. You look like bloody Yoda. Oh, oh you're doing it normal now. That's how you the phone. This is insane. I'm scurrying, this is getting narrower and narrower. Oh, yeah. it's, you're not going to believe it, it's still going. Oh. oh, I hit my head. The further you go into it, the more sort of daunting it gets. Do you think? Bloody hell. Not eating anything today. <sighs> to be fair, everything I eat goes straight through me at the moment, so. <sighs> Have you arrived? Are we there? Yeah. And there we have it. And this wood, by the way, people, I believe some of this is like original. You can see it's petrified. This piece of structural wood here concerns me. Is the pyramid being held up by that? <laughs> Should we do the sweaty check? Oh. Am I sweaty? Yeah, it's a silent moment. So quiet. Free in my heart. <laughs> it's so quiet that it's almost like a ringing. Do you get that? Does that mean like? Shush. I can't hear you. Either. Can you hear my body? I can hear fine though. <sighs> yeah, and he's like, why do we get so sweaty? I think it's because there's no air fly. Oh, there's a fly on you. Did he yeah, come all the way with you? I don't know. He's never getting out of here. <laughs> wow. See how my arm is. So, presumably we're near the top, right? I think this is the top. So, it's weird. it feels like we're really underground, doesn't it? Mm. It feels like we're like 100 metres underground, but presumably just through there is outside. Well, we went down and we went up. So, so we're maybe, like... we're, maybe we're ground level. Yeah. It's not as echoey, is that because of wood? It doesn't stink in this one either. It doesn't echo at all. There is another shaft down here. So we went up Watch that way. Stuff. We went down that way, but there's another entrance way. And do you feel a cool wind? Um, do you feel the wind? Yeah, I do. Breathe? Doesn't that mean like there's an entrance, there's an exit there? I'm, I'm pretty sure I read there's two entrances to this pyramid. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You want to go first? Can do. Not much further. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's just some stairs in your Yeah. <laughs> ah, thank you. I didn't realise last time that there's like sections of it like 
held together like this. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that? You, I don't like that. You don't like that you can go over the top here. Solid rock. You can, is that, it could make you feel a little bit like it might fall down. Yeah, I have that feeling anyway. It does feel like they just sort of carved this in, you know? Like modern. Like this, was this your original passageway? It seems a little like, ow! <laughs> I cracked my head. Oh my. Ow. Where did I hit my head on this? I guess so. Ow, mother. You have to go with the right I can't be any lower. I'm, I know, I'm, right? I'm going like this. That's why I was doing that. <laughs> Amy said you didn't like it. Amy said you didn't like the words. It looks like it's just placed there as well. I'm like, I'm bolted. Yeah. Just it's just lodged in. It's like, that'll hold it. Thousands of tons of stone, that'll do. That one's not even straight. <laughs> Somebody's to hang that one back up. Yeah, it's slightly concerning, isn't it? I don't like it. But you know, it's, it's, it's stood the test of time. If anything, this is like the safest building we could ever be in because it's like one of the oldest in the world. And it's not falling down yet. I so. so statistically, it's less likely to fall down. Or does that mean it's more likely to fall down? I'm All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off for this 80 meters uphill. At waist height. The red pyramid. That's it. We've done the two, the three pyramids at Giza. Um, we've done the step pyramid of Josa. We've done the red pyramid, and we've done the bent pyramid. And I'm glad we continue to persevere because some of these last ones were, were some of the best. Um, highly recommend going to these. Uh, less well-known ones um, and also I highly recommend going to Joseph. Um such an interesting pyramid I think compared to the others definitely my favorite I, I like the um, the passages on these it's fun yeah I think these are fun aren't they these are fun and but, interesting but as far as I mean, these are fun but I think for me personally it's Joseph's good. Joseph's the most interesting me too yeah? yeah you agree sort of the end of our the end of our Egyptian adventure we've done it all really we've Value the kings, Abu Simbel, the day-to-day -day life of the Egyptians, what they're having, what their, their favourite foods, donkey. the donkey <laughs> ride. We've done everything. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. It's been tiring. But yeah. <laughs> but we're not. It's not over yet. There's something exciting coming up when we get back to Australia. Very, <laughs> very exciting. Yeah. But, but more exciting than anything, I think. Yeah. We'll see you then.